Why do we approach the aortic and mitral valves differently? The aortic valve comprises three little leaflets hanging on the wall. The mitral valve is a complex apparatus. It contributes to left ventricular contraction. Okay, let's hear about mitral valve mechanics. Yeah, what's coaptation? It's how well the leaflets oppose each other and close off the orifice. If the leaflets are shrunken, then they can't cover the orifice area. That's what happens in rheumatic disease. Then you'll see a central jet. So what's mitral valve prolapse? Billowing or floppy valves? Prolapse means the leaflets extend beyond the plane of the mitral annulus. In the floppy valve syndrome, there's redundant valve tissue from a disorder of soft tissue fibrillin or elastin. Usually the cords are too long and over time they stretch. Sometimes there's only minor leaflet prolapse and coaptation is almost normal. Then you'll get little if any regurgitation. If the regurgitant orifice is large, valve regurgitation may be severe and eccentric. What about ischemic mitral incompetence? One or both papillary muscles isn't working properly. The cords and leaflets don't develop full tension. Why do so many people now have valve repair? Yes, in the past they had replacement. Well, in our community, the underlying cause is now rarely rheumatic. If the valve tissue is contracted, then it can't be repaired, but redundant valve tissue can. Why do we want to avoid valve replacement? The main reason has to do with left ventricular contraction. The annulus is a fibrous structure shaped like a saddle. The leaflets attach to the annulus, the cords attach to the leaflets, and the papillary muscles attach to the cords. The whole apparatus acts as a fixed structure against which the myocardium shortens. Like in the gym, you pull yourself up against a chinning bar. So preserving the cords is important. Yes, it's one reason for left heart failure after mitral valve replacement. It's hard to pull yourself up without arms.